Yo, what is up everyone and welcome back to another video on the channel and today I'm gonna tell you guys how to fix Roblox not launching. This is an error that a lot of people have had so don't feel like you're alone in this issue. Real quick, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel if this tutorial could help you and if you guys want more help with things like this in the future. Now as you guys know, Roblox may not be launching for you and a lot of people have been watching these videos about Roblox not launching and none of the methods have worked and that's why in this video I'm gonna be putting a ton of methods in this video and so watch through this whole video without skipping any bits because you guys don't want to miss some of these methods as they could fix your issue. So yeah, let's get straight into it. But I just want to talk about we're going to go from like more simpler stuff to more complex stuff as we go through. Okay, so the number one thing you can do is restart your computer entirely. Just restart your device or if you're on mobile, just completely restart it. And that's just a really simple trick and it kind of can fix a lot of things that you have happening. This has personally worked for me a lot because sometimes, you know, my computer's getting kind of slow. I restart it and it's completely fine. But let's do the second fix here. So next thing I want to say is to check the server status. So you guys want to make sure that Roblox isn't down. What you guys are going to want to do is search up status.roblox.com and you should be able to see this really interesting page here. So this is actually Roblox. It says all systems operational updated a few seconds ago. So you guys can see on per device, every single thing, what different section is working and what isn't. And this will update instantly. So the last time they had any issues was October. Oh my gosh. Wow. Roblox is on a good streak right now. But yeah, if Roblox for some reason goes down, this might be why you actually can't be playing it. So if it says operational on all of these, then it isn't a Roblox issue and you should keep watching the video. But if it says one of these isn't working like website, like games and stuff like that, then that could be why it's not working working for you. So this next method, I want to give an example of what I'm doing. As you guys can see here, I'm in my search engine search browser, and this should be similar for you on whatever device you're on, and you can Google how to do it for yourself. What you guys are going to want to do is go up to the top right and click this button that's the three dots. And then you guys are going to want to see this thing that says clear browsing data. If you don't see that, maybe you go to settings, and then maybe you just want to search up clear browsing data at the top where you can see this thing here, clear history, cookies, cache, and more. And you guys are going to see, you want to check all of these. And basically what this one does is it just clears all your history. You don't need to check this if you guys want some stuff that you want to save and just go all time if you want as well. And this cookies and other site data is the one we want to be checked on. So as you guys can see, cookies and other site data signs you out of most sites. Basically what this does is each site kind of has cookies and the cookies are what remembers what device you're on so that they can log you in automatically. Like how if you go to roblox.com, it logs you into your account instantly that kind of thing. And you guys just want to clear that entirely. This means that if there's some sort of issue regarding your browser that makes it impossible for you to play, you guys could just check this clear data and you should be chilling. Now, the next thing you guys are going to want to do works on Windows devices. So if you're watching this on a Windows device, do exactly what I do. Now, what you guys want to do is choose the Roblox player, right click on it, and then click the thing called properties. You guys are going to want to click on the button that says compatibility. Once you go there, you should see a bunch of things here. And you're going to want to check on this one that says run this program as administrator. So you can change the setting for all users, which I would recommend doing, or you could just do it differently if you'd like but just make sure this thing is checked because that basically means that it'll run it as an administrator, which will override something that may be blocking it from being able to work. This is a different method that I personally use, and this is a good way to do it. When you're going here, you can also just run as an administrator, and that may be able to work the same way as well. Now, the next step I'm going to tell you guys is pressing the buttons on your computer, Windows key and R. Once you've done that, a little menu will pop up that says run, and you guys are just going to want to type exactly what I typed here, percent app data percent. Then you guys just want to click OK. And once you guys are in there, you should see something like this, and you guys just want to click on local, find the one called Roblox, and literally just delete it. This will wipe Roblox off your computer, basically like almost remove like all the app data files. So when you reopen it, it'll have to reinstall and you guys will basically have a fresh new installation of Roblox itself. This method basically clears out a lot of the things that come with Roblox and basically just kind of resets your installation itself as opposed to, you know, overriding something. It just completely wipes it and you'll be able to reinstall it. So maybe if you're behind on an update, that's exactly what you have to do. And the next things I'm going to talk about are just a couple additional things, which I'll explain fairly shortly so I can just go through a few important things. Now, one of the things is disabling all your browser extensions. So if you have some extensions, maybe some of them are blocking it. So just turn off certain ones and retry to play Roblox and see if that's what may be blocking Roblox from actually launching. Because there's a chance that one of these may be blocking if it's maybe an ad blocker or something like that. Now the next thing I want to say is disabling your antivirus or firewall. If none of the other methods have worked, you can try to disable your firewall and antivirus off your computer. And feel free to Google that if you guys want to know how to do that. And you guys just want to try disabling those. Once you disable those and Roblox actually works, you guys are going to want to go to the exception list. If you guys want to know how to do that, maybe just Google it or contact the support team, but then you'll know exactly what's blocking it if it turns out to be one of these things. If you use Discord, make sure to disable the Discord game overlay in Discord settings. That could be another reason why it could be happening. And also make sure it is in your browser. So try a different browser. Like if you're using Firefox, use Google Chrome and vice versa, as that may be blocking it as well. I hope this was able to help you guys out and I hope I gave you a good amount of information. If you guys still have some questions about how to fix this, comment down below and I'll try to help some of you guys. Please feel free to like and subscribe if I was able to help you even just a little bit. Either way, that's it. I I hope you guys have an amazing day and take care.